<laughs> we just got 22 knots and I'm telling Riley we need to take a read that now. Babe, amazing. come on. So it seems that I've been rather foolish for some time Trying to chase a life the dreams should live behind Last time here on the east coast of France, we anchored at an island called Poquerol. This morning we set off for a new adventure to a new country. And it's a beautiful day. Oh cool, there's a castle up there. Today we were going to Corsica, which was about 116 nautical miles as the crow flies. We'd heard tales from other sailors about crystal blue waters and endless castles. It was a place not to be missed and we would be sailing down the west coastline starting at Calvi. We were expecting a max of 30 knots from the west, but up until about 2pm the winds were fluky and there was a lot of pulling up and down the sails all morning. But there were dolphins. Yeah. Riley was just grumpy because there was no wind and now the air's gone cold and there is clearly some serious wind coming so we gotta hoist the main again. Ah quick, let's go! So focused on getting the mainsail back up and to get moving again, we'd forgotten about our code D that was still up from this morning. Pass me the cranker. This was a big mistake, we should have had it stowed away. We had it locked off by wrapping it around a cleat, but only once, and the force of the wind was able to unfurl it. We headed downwind, but we still had a fair bit of wrangling in order to get her under control. The wind's going in a different direction to the waves. Extremely windy. I want to show you something. Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, that's the uh, conditions, and we're just sitting level, it's amazing. We are probably averaging 10 and a half knots I'd say, we've got 25 knots from apparent wind angle is 120, so we are fairly flying along at the moment. We've got a full main up and a full jib, so apparent wind speed of between 17 and 18, and I don't, we don't need to put a reef in the main just yet. We're uh, going along quite nicely. We yeah. just got 22 knots and I'm telling Riley we need to take a reef now. Babe, amazing. come on. This is ridiculous. 
17 knots apparent, we're absolutely fine. There's some weird hum that happens, hey. Vale, we need to take a read. What's that weird hum that happens? I don't know, but let's not wait to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, when the boat... That babe, that's awesome. when the bow buries and you're We've snapped, we've uh, got the line off, it's all good. Oh, bro, I'm scared. I don't want to go 22 knots. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh, shit, yeah. Babe, no. Oh, that's a big wave right here. <laughs> Coffee machine just went mental. I just went to lay down in our hull. So I'm pretty tired. And there's just no way I could relax down there. You can really hear all the noises down there a lot better than out here. And like at one stage, there was no gravity. And Riley says that's okay, but it lasted for just so long. I was just floating on my bed and I couldn't hear any water sounds on the Water hole. Knots. <laughs> so I've just come back upstairs because, yeah, I don't like being down there. Myself. What do you do when your boyfriend's a captain? <laughs> I can't fight him. Well, it's it was 28 knots. It's it's 23 now. So like, there's not generally a lot of relaxing going on on any boat in those conditions. We just happen to be going sailing really. Well. 16, 17, and there's a hum. 17. <laughs> yeah, 18. Yo! There's that hum. You need to. Alright, what's going on, guys? We're, We're gonna, gonna take, take a read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really excited here on the Vagabond. I've just called out another patron's name. Congratulations to Emily Hare. Uh, we would love to have you on board if you can make it. Um, if 22 knots boat speed is not something you're interested in, don't stress. We usually sit on about 10 knots. So yeah, otherwise if you'd like to go 22 knots, I'm sure Riley wouldn't mind attempting that one again. Cool, thank you for your support and uh, yeah, cheers. How was your little nap, darling? Good. I woke up to Riley saying, should we have a bottle of wine? But instead, what's that thing? Um, Matthew gave us a going away present and it is, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but people from France will understand. It's local and apparently it's quite sweet, like honey. It's from uh, Brittany. Yes, it's from Brittany. <laughs> you know me too well, Matthew. This is absolutely delicious. It's like a... 
I can't explain it. That is so damn good. It's like honey and cider, but without the fizziness. A well-deserved drink for the team. We had arrived in Corsica and had clocked 22 knots as our top speed on the Vagabond. It was to be the hot topic of our conversation for weeks and weeks to come. They're right behind us. We are just coming into our anchorage now and there's no moon tonight so we're going to need a lot of torches. It's going to be quite scary. I just brushed my hair, this is what happens all the time. <laughs> I'm not used to coming into an anchorage at like 10 knots, so I've got a later, just destroyed the night vision, but I've got a, looking out for boys and I don't know, it's just, it's, it's way different, hey, coming in at this speed. Yeah. Like, yeah. we're still, we're still in 100 metres of water, so it's fine, but it's just vastly different to operating in at 4 knots. I got you, guys. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we roam around the famous town of Calvi. Yes, I'm afraid of